The September 11th anniversary is a somber reminder. Many families still trying to cope with their loss. And many say they'll never have closure. Ben Chandler has more on a Shawnee family who lost a son at the Pentagon. His older brother on the next day bought us this 25-foot flagpole that stands out front of our house now. 9-11 is still too fresh a memory for some. We all had hopes that we would have him come home. That's still the case for Shirley and Bob Hemingway. When the plane hit, uh, this five were never found. Matter of fact, there was no remains ever found of Ronald. And so for a long time, we had a glimmer of hope. Their son Ronald was one of 125 inside the Pentagon killed that morning. December 8th, we got the death certificate. Time has yet to ease their pain. No, it doesn't get easier. It just gets different. Ronald left behind his wife and two children. That was his greatest day when he became a dad. When I see his children, it's hard because I know what kind of a dad he was. And the little girl would have been one that November and the little boy would have been three that November. So they're not going to remember their dad except for what we tell them. Most people don't have reminders of their loved one's deaths played out on television over and over. Bob and Shirley do. This is when we visited him in Bowling Air Force Base. But that is something the Hemingways have come to terms with. We just face it head on. And and we know we can't hide from it. Courage in the face of a nightmare that still won't pass. Ben Chandler, NBC Action News. The Hemingways will be in Wasilla, Alaska for the 10th anniversary. It's where Ronald graduated high school and a dedication ceremony will be there for him.